Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a bunch of baby prep. Kind of last minute, but I need to hurry up and get it done. So, one of the first things I wanted to do was prep my hospital bag. Actually, no. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to prep the car seat. So for the car seat, I just need to take off the cover and throw it in the washer and readjust the seatbelt latches. Anyway, so I went ahead and I threw that in the washer. I'm going to have it so I can have it air drying to put it back on. Okay, now back to my hospital bag. So this is the hospital bag I'm going to use. It is from Target. I don't know if they have it anymore, but um, it's like this weekender bag that I used with my last kid. And okay, so it's from the brand A New Day, if you can still find it. And I just like how it just, it's very structured and it sits up. It comes with a strap to hold it on shoulder length and then these two handles anyway first thing i need to do is go ahead and empty i just have a bunch of random things in there keyboard i don't know what that's doing in there and a laptop charger i also have the strap in there and i'm just going to keep that in there it's still new i haven't used it so i'm just going to keep that in there and then I have $20 bill, I'm just going to keep that for emergencies in there. And then this jet blue pouch with headphones, and I'm just going to keep that in there as well. Okay you guys, and now to start packing it, I try to pack as light as possible because I hate taking everything home because you got the baby, then you got all this paperwork and so much things. So I'm going to start um, by packing me these slippers, these are not, these are just like what I had at home so I just washed them. And I'm going to use these. I was going to purchase new ones, also but go you know ahead. What? And my last readjust child, I had purchased belt. brand new slippers just to have a new one. I didn't end up using them in the hospital. Maybe I actually ended up using the hospital socks. So I don't know. These little tedious things just get Less in the I have way. to carry home, the better. But just in case, think they I won't. Okay, and then the second thing I'm packing or you're just tired is and a set of pajamas. So I'm going to go ahead so and do that I and get that ready. These that I got from the brand, the online store boutique Venus. And I like this one because... It's like a deep V, so if I'm breastfeeding, I can have easy access. And then I have my going home outfit. So for that, I'm going to have just my abaya and my scarf and headpiece. So in terms of like the going home outfit, I'm actually going to be in my pajamas or this jogger pants under my abaya. And for my stay in the hospital, I usually just stay in the hospital gown they give me and I bring a robe or a sweater to put over. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in to the bag. I'm not liking how it's looking like messy. I want it to be more organized and I actually just got the perfect idea. I have organization cubes and I think that's what I'm going to use. I think they're going to be perfect. Uh, it's a set of three and I'm going to just have one for me for my items and one for baby items and then one for like... All the electronics I'm taking. Okay, so let me go ahead and open these. Is this the biggest one? I kind of feel like it's not gonna fit anywhere. Oh, actually, no. So this is the biggest one. Alright, then it's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack my things into the biggest one right here. And I just got these from, the brand says Bucket List, but I got these from DSW. So that's the packaging right there. You guys, so that's how the first cube is looking. So I got all my clothing items in here. The only thing I forgot that I haven't packed yet, and it's because I just ordered some maternity bras. Um, so I'm waiting for those to come in. I'm going to add those in here. Okay, you guys. And now for the second largest one, I'm going to leave that for baby's items. Um, and I don't have those just yet, so I'm just going to put this on the side for now. And I'm going to start working on... 
the smallest one. This one. Oh, it's cute. It has a little handle. Do they all have handles? Oh, yes, they do. So for this, I'm just going to be adding my phone charger, which I'm not going to put in right now because I'm still using. And what else? Okay, so for this mini one, I'm going to be adding this little light box with these letters. And that's what I'm going to use just to take some cute little hospital pictures of the baby. And then these along with my phone charger. I already said that. Last thing I'm going to add is just the charger. And I'm going to take that as I leave. Hopefully I don't forget because I want to take my original charger instead of another one just so, I don't know, it just charges better. Okay, so the next things I wanted to prep were my toiletry items as well as a snack bag because the last time I was there, I was so hungry. I'm going to pack this document holder. This is just for like all the paperwork I get. Okay, you guys, so for my toiletries, I usually don't take toiletries to the hospital. I usually just use what they have. It's just so much easier just to throw that out and leave light-handed. But the last time I was there, I wish I had brought my own shampoo and conditioner because the bottles were so tiny I could barely get anything out. So I have the travel size shampoo and conditioner. Another thing I'm going to pack is body wash and this baby washcloth that I'm going to use for myself. I have this facial bar soap that was actually in my bag from when I had my two-year-old. So I'm going to use this and I took a little facial scrubber and then I also grabbed this little facial moisturizer. Okay, and then... For my hair, I'm just taking this hairbrush, my tangle teaser, a few ponytail holders, and this scrunchie. Okay, and one of the last toiletry item, I'm going to go ahead and take this travel mirror. Okay, it's actually super cute because the packing cubes, my toiletry bag, and everything's matching so far. I did not even plan this. It even matches with my weekender bag, except the hardware is gold instead of rose gold like these are. Okay, you guys, then I went ahead and I'm going to grab this mesh bag. So I'm going to fill it with a few snacks. Okay, so the first thing I got is some gummy bears. Uh, and these are halal. And I got me some M&M's. Third thing I got is this Betty Crocker chocolate chip oatmeal bar. And then I also grabbed one of the girls Cliff Kid Z bar. It's an iced oatmeal cookie. And then this Monster Trail Mix from Favorite Day. I also wanted something salty, so I grabbed some Pringles. And honestly, this canister is kind of bulky, so you know what I'm going to do is probably go ahead and buy the little snack size Pringles and put those in instead of this. But I didn't, I wanted chips, but I just didn't want a bag of chips, so I just opted for Pringles just because they're going to be crushed sitting there in my hospital bag. Okay, so that's how it's looking. And then the last thing I need to do is just pack this medium-sized cube with all the baby items. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, you guys, so for the baby's items, all I'm going to pack is this sheet set. I like to take a cute printed sheet set just to lay under the baby for the hospital pictures that I take on my own with the little light box. So for now, it's this one. Uh, I might change it out for another one if I find a cuter print one. But that's the one I'm taking for now. And then I have a baby blanket. I don't know, it might be too thick for this, but I loved this, like, Barefoot Dreams dupe. Um, found it at TJ Maxx. I was going to order it from Amazon. The Amazon one was, like, 40 somewhere between 30 to $40. And I found it at TJ Maxx for $12.99, so that was a steal. I'm going to go ahead and pack these two and then the last thing that i'm gonna actually pack for baby is baby's going home outfit so like i said the one last thing i needed in this packing cube was the baby's outfit and probably a onesie okay and then that's all i really need for baby blanket sheets the light box that i'm using for the pictures and then the car seat this car seat cover was super easy to take off and put back on I'm actually going to lint roll it because it has a little bit of lint on it from when I washed and dried it. Okay, so I was going to share some more uh, baby item things 
like my baby bag and a few other things but this video is kind of getting too long so maybe in the next one thank you so much for watching go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet